you just gotta stay in a good, positive mental headspace. Yeah. Because a lot of people can spiral badly. What's your go-to meal that you cook at home? Maybe something that you believed when you were younger that isn't true now. How you find being injured? I, yeah. When I'm injured, I actually quite liked it. It's the only time you ever get to focus on yourself. Yeah, I do it. You obviously miss playing. Yeah. But you can actually get a good block of training. Yeah, yeah. If you found it, I don't be injured. Yeah. Right? Now, if it was a long, t if if I like again, if I like tore my hammy or like broke, like yeah. snapped my elbow, I'd probably be in a different headspace. How do you find being injured? All right, or do you find it quite difficult? At the start, at the start, I'm all right, but then you know you miss playing, especially when it's like a big game or if if there's any like Europe games on. Oh, I bet missing Europe with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work. yeah. Just but you just got to stay in a good me positive mental health space. Yeah. Because a lot of people can spiral badly. <laughs> Day wise, yeah, like. yeah, 7 a.m. swim, David Lloyd's, uh, breakfast eight, and then you got they'll try and get all the fish rehabbers to do all their uppers at the same time. We got uppers, then lowers, and then the boys who aren't ready to train yet have a running session, and then they'll come back and do another lower session. So most of the boys do two lowers a day. How many sets are in session then? Is it like are they very different? Are they quite similar? everyone's on their own specific program, like, to be but it's, fair. It's, it's lower weights twice a day? Is it like a more of a powery one to start than like a higher volume one to finish? Are they both still like weight sessions, if that makes sense? I think in the morning they'll go heavy. So like everyone's lifting heavy in the morning and then in the afternoon it'll be more functional movement. Prehab. Yeah, yeah, prehab. hammy related prehab. If ah, you've got okay. ankle injury, it'll be more like, I don't know, Bulgarians trying to get your foot over your ankle. So it's just yeah, like more yeah. injury specific oh, stuff. I thought you were ripping leg press like twice oh, a day. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, wow. I haven't, heard, I haven't heard of that. Unless you said new research <laughs> emerging. Yeah. Double no, weights. No, like, no. Yeah. Yeah. Do you count calories, Chris? Or do you kind of... You nah, each other like I just eat. Do you know how much you'd eat in a day? I know, do you know what? I never used to either, by the way. I'm not like trying to quiz you because like you're moving so much you don't really need to. You yeah. just kind of eat intuitively, don't you? On yeah. What Plus, you I've been eat. trying to put on this weight. So you've been deliberately eating So, more. yeah. So, yeah. What, <laughs> what have you changed then? Is it just volume? Were you like adding a bit more junk food or like, uh, just nah, no more junk carbs? Food. And... Definitely more carbs. Because you're into your cooking, aren't you? You do quite a bit. Of yeah, food, yeah. So Definitely yeah. more carbs and I drink a lot of water. What's your go-to meal that you cook at home? Pasta. I mean, this is big on what I tell her. Because with pasta, you can do anything with her. I'd say just make many form of pasta, chuck some chicken. She does most of the cooking, is yeah, she? Yeah, she does all the She's really good. She'll literally come over to cook and then she'll go. No, that's really Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's, <insane. I> know. <laughs> hey, that's a She's a keeper. She's a keeper. Yeah. yeah. What do you, what's your go-to steps that you wouldn't want to be without then? AGF and beta. AGF and beta. Uh, I'm banging that like every day, mate. Do, uh, do, do the AGFs. Have yeah. you done that since you put on all this weight as well? I've always had that. I genuinely think I like the amount of water I drink now is stupid. Really? Yeah, I have. I can I probably drink six liters. Six liters a day. Yeah. Was it four a day for yeah, the yeah. simmer? Yeah, four a day for, and I don't come off. So I've, I've, and I'll take the odd week off. If I'm like, okay, maybe I've, I've banged them for like a good six months on the dot, I'll take the odd week yeah, off. See, I, I, there's a lot of subs you can take them, and I, you cannot guarantee if that's the sub that's made you feel better. But when I do AGF, it's like now, like we just done some testing. Yeah. I've been on them for a bit, and I've been doing loads of dumbbell stuff. I do, I do get stronger off them. Yeah. It's the one thing I take, yeah. I notice I yeah, get stronger. it works. <laughs> What about sleep then, Chris? What, did you take anything to sleep to help you recover? Or? A lot of boys take the NTRs off PAS, but I, I feel I wake up groggy sometimes after that, so I like zinc and magnesium. I oh, like, just tablets, say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. You, can, you can actually tell the difference with your sleep. What about like um, normal recovery? Like 
That's the sessions. Oh, You're like an ice bath, bath guy, yeah, compression yeah. guy. What do you ice do? Ice bath. Ice bath. Can't really go wrong with an ice bath. There's a lot of research for and a lot of research against ice bath. Yeah, you're right, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump. A lot of boys go in a sauna and stuff. And I think it's one of those things though. Like, there's research saying it's not good for hypertrophy, and then research saying it's good for mental benefits. It's one of those things I think. Recovery, well, ice bath. If you feel good from it, yeah. then then do it. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think there's no black and white answer. If you do it and you're like, oh, I feel great though after I've done it. And it makes you, you think you can go harder your next session and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and do it, you know? I think people want a yes and no answer. It's not sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, it's not quite that yeah. simple, I don't think. Well, some things don't work, but if it works, like don't work scientifically. Yeah. But if it works for you in your head, then it works. Yeah, because then that placebo yeah. is going to make you train yeah, harder. Train harder, you think, harder yeah. thinking you're yeah, all right. Exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Mag thing I've just said, if. It might not work, it might not actually work, but in my head, I think it works. Do you know what, I, a good story on that. There was a um, coach we had, and we were taking all these SUPs, and he goes, right, take these SUPs, but don't declare them when you do a drugs test, because they haven't been tested, they haven't not been tested. Yeah. So we don't want them to test them, because if they find out how potent they are, they might ban them, and we've yeah. got an edge on everyone else doing yeah. this. Yeah. So we're banging in these tablets, and everyone like thought their PBs were going through the roof, and, Anyway, he went away, he did this pre-season, come back. Or six months go by, and the lads went to the nutritionist and went, oh, can we have um, those tablets, that, what are they called again, that we yeah, had in pre-season? Because yeah. we all got jacked off that. They were class. And he burst out laughing. He went, oh, mate, that was just a placebo. We were giving you paracetamol, but we told you it was something oh, else. We told yeah, you it was something yeah, else, yeah. and everyone thought they were PB in, putting on weight, and it just shows how powerful a placebo yeah, can yeah. be. It was paracetamol. Yeah, yeah. It's in your head. Everything's yeah. in your head, isn't it? Yeah. The only thing I would say though is like, is the only reason you should take supplements is if you've got your, your food kind of nailed on first. Because yeah. if, you, if you're eating honey sandwiches and bowls of cereal yeah, yeah. and you're taking AGF, it's going to make a difference. Just, no. You know, you've got to get your, like, like you say, you're having yeah. your eggs and your pasta and chicken yeah. and all that stuff. If you get that in place first, then go take subs and that'll yeah. kick you on an extra 5%. But, you'll make, yeah. you'll make 90% of your progress without subs. And then once you start getting close to that ceiling, Seps can then, on top of a good diet, then can give you that kick. But young youngsters don't need to worry about that now. No. Just get your food in. No. Chris, what would you say is something you know now that you didn't know then when you were younger? Maybe something that you believed when you were younger that isn't true now? Or something you've changed? You don't training? need protein shakes. You don't need to be putting eggs in your protein shakes. You don't need to be eating raw eggs. You don't need to... Uh... Just get it through food, you mean? Yeah, you eat, you yeah. Food. You don't need to be... I guess like when you're young, you probably don't have your, your own money to be doing your own food shop. Yeah. That's probably why people would buy like the, your cheapest way and they'd stick like crack a couple of eggs in it trying to get what, whatever they can. Yeah. But you definitely don't need all that stuff. Indeed. And it messes with your guts as well. Anyway. Do you know I don't take shakes anymore. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I like all the stuff you're saying, the AGFs yeah. and things. But I, I get my protein through more my milk, eggs, yeah. meat, yeah. fish. Yeah. Oh, I, I get it quite comfortably without yeah. shakes. I don't need it. If you're cutting, then it's helpful because obviously a shake is low cal. But if you're just like us. I wish, I wish when I was younger, I planned my, my, obviously, again, when you're young, it's hard because your parents are cooking for you, so you can't be like, Mama, want this, this, and that on a Thursday yeah, or Friday. Yeah, you've got to just deal with it. Yeah, you've got to eat what you're given. Yeah, yeah. these are my go to triceps. You're getting the horseshoe, Chris, to a sweatshirt. It's decent. <laughs> 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 What day is most useful to find on the Whoop? The sleeping for the next day. The Whoop will calculate everything you've done that day. You sleep from that morning and it will give you the best time to sleep for the next day. Really? What, so, you day, to, so it'll tell you when to start winding down? Yeah, yeah. So it'll say, it'll say based on all your exercise today, your heart rate and everything you've done today and your sleep. If you want 100% recovery for tomorrow, this is what time we suggest you go to sleep. Is it, is only because... Is when, it realistic though? Is it like 7 p.m? or does it give you... No, no, realistic? it is really realistic. Like and you can pick how... So if you want 100% recovery next day or 90, 80, you pick what percent. So if you've got a big training day, you know to listen to it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only swear by it because if you go out, it knows. <laughs> I try and make my elbows parallel to the nice. when I'm when it's coming back. Over a bit, get more of a stretch on, like. Yeah, try and get your, your elbow parallel <laughs> yeah. to the ceiling. Yeah. Well, I'm easy with my buys and tries. I sort of like to stay consistent with my main compound lifts, but then 
Buys and tries. It's nice just to mix it up in yeah. there as long as you go hard on them.